At the Penal County Museum in Florence, Arizona, are 25 nooses on display from hangings at the prison. They were used to hang 25 men and one woman. One noose was used four times because four men were hung on the same day. Eva Duggan, the only woman in Arizona to die on the scaffold, was hung on February 21, 1930. Eva was a 20-year-old prostitute in the Yukon during the Klondike Gold Rush in 1898, where she went by the name Clawfingered Kitty. After she left the Yukon she plied her trade as both a cabaret singer and prostitute. In January, 1927, she'd gone to work for a Pima County chicken rancher named Andy Mathis, and had been fired a couple of weeks later. Mathis disappeared soon after. She stole his cash box and car which she later sold in Kansas City for $600. Pima County Sheriff Jimmy McDonald was able to trace Eva to her daughter's home in White Plains, New York where she was arrested and charged with auto theft. Eva was sentenced to nine months in jail. A tourist setting up a camp on the Mathis Ranch accidentally uncovered his body buried in a shallow grave. This time Eva was charged with murder. On February 21, 1930, Eva was convicted of the axe murder of Mathis. During her trial it was learnt that she'd been married five times, and all of her hubbies died under mysterious circumstances. After she was resigned to her fate, she scraped together money for a nice dress for her burial, crafting items like a beaded necklace, which is preserved behind glass at the Historical Society and Museum today. On her way to the gallows Eva told the guards to not hold her arms too tight lest the witnesses think she was scared. At dawn she marched off, unsupported, between two guards, one archive time article reads. She bantered with newsmen, posed for photographs, shook hands with the warden, kissed the guards, walked firmly up the steps to the gallows. Defiant and tough to the end, Eva's final comments to the jury she said, Wall, I'll die with my boots on, and in full health. And that's more than most of you old coots will be able to boast on. Sixty people saw the botched and bloody hanging when the noose was placed around her neck, and the trap door opened. Unfortunately the drop was set too long, and Eva was accidentally decapitated. The sight was so ghastly that there was an immediate outcry for the state to switch to the gas chamber. Eva became the last person to be legally hanged in Arizona.